In this video, I will show you how you can create some dashboards in Graylog. So you simply go to dashboards and then do create dashboard. You name it. Let's do one for the Cisco AC that we have. Let's call it uh, firewall. Cisco ASA. The description would be firewall logs. And click on save. Now, if we were going to go into this dashboard, you'll see that uh, there is nothing here because there are no widgets yet. Let's create some widgets right now by going to our Cisco ASA stream. And let's do the last 30 minutes. And right now we have some uh, fields that we can play with. Let's say that we would like to see all the actions and I'm going to click on uh, quick values. And these actions or this widget, I'm going to add it to the dashboard by simply doing this. And here I'm going to say quick values for ASA actions. And we will have it as show pie chart and show the data table. Click on create. Let's do another one for the protocol. And you can see that we have some uh, ICMP, UDP, and TCP. Let's add it to the same dashboard. Say quick values for ASA protocols. And click on create. If we were going to go to dashboards and I'm going to open a new page. And right now we will select our dashboard or see it. You can see the widgets that we have added to this dashboard. So let's uh, edit it a little bit right now and uh, let's put it side by side. You can also delete them. You can change uh, some um, values here like cache time, time, time range, uh, the um, search relative time. Uh, and this is the number of seconds. So if I'm going to do, let's say 3600, that means one hour. You can also do a search query uh, that uh, can be executed on your value, like search for this IP address, search for this value and so on. Uh, total table size, that means uh, the values that will going to be displayed here, we will have 50 by default, you can modify it. Top values naturally. And let's click on update. There is not that much going on here, no updates or no major updates because um, I just started the uh, test environment right now. If we were going to go back to the stream, we can do something else like let's do, for example, the interface. And the interface here we have only inside. So for this one, let's generate some kind of statistics. Uh, which are in here and we can also add them to the dashboard. Statistic value for inside interface ASA firewall and you can change the statistical value to total cardinality and so on let's change it to total and see how it looks like and here I need to move this widget right here 
And right now let's do another one. Let's generate a chart for, um, for example, for the source IPs. Sorry, not for the source because it will gonna be the same. Yeah, for the source IPs, this one, generate the chart. And we have the chart right here and I'm gonna add it to the dashboard. Field graph or let's call it uh, chart for source IPs on ASA firewall. Click on create. Let's put this widget up here and you can also uh, modify these widgets like this or you can make them bigger like this and anyway you get idea if you are on a widget and um, you would like to see the information which is specifically for a dashboard you simply click on replay search and the information is displayed here and it contains um, the values that you have uh, selected for your uh, search sorry for your widget that is pretty much about uh, dashboards thanks for watching uh, the video if you liked it please hit the thumbs up button subscribe and uh, if you'd like to see a new video which i'm uh, uploading on my channel and you like to get notified don't forget to click on the bell icon Talk to you guys in the next one.